this is where it gets interesting for me. I'm about to show you two, or sorry, one pool post, or, sorry, two pool connections. And people ask, well, who is pool? What does this matter? Why are you sharing this? My point is it doesn't matter who pool is. The, the question is how were these connections made so far in advance? How did we know their agenda so far in, in advance? Let's get into it. XRPL NFT shares this tweet with us. First pool warns, uh, warns us months in advance. Then a Russian nuclear submarine disappears in the past 72 hours. Then the US HHS buys up a ton of drugs for nuclear emergencies in the past 48 hours. And now Schwartz has minted a nuclear blast NFT, okay? So it looks like, yeah, Pool did warn us back there in February, okay? Uh, about the government website here to, uh, showing people how to prepare for nuclear attacks. Then it's just reported that a Russian nuclear submarine armed with a doomsday weapon disappears from the Arctic Harbor report. Then we have uh, HHS purchases drug for use in radiological and nuclear emergencies. And then we have uh, David Schwartz minting this uh, NFT here, nuclear blast in the style of Vincent Van Gogh, Joel Katz, David Schwartz. Huge shout out, CTO of Ripple. Always playing with us, always sending the signals. God bless David. Hey, but check out this one too. We have another interesting connection. The Harris motorcade involved in a crash today. What was said here today? Let me pull this up one second. Uh, Kamala Harris, today I'm heading to Lake Mead in Nevada to discuss the climate crisis and why we must uh, make historic investments to not only create jobs, but preserve our planet for generations to come. And then I'm gonna show you this next Mr. Pool tweet. Check this out, wow. That's Lake Mead with a accident right there. And let me show you real quick where this tweet came. June 27th, uh, last year. June 27th, last year, when this tweet was shared with us, okay? Now, that's, that's what I'm talking about is, people ask, well, who is Mr. Pool? Why does this matter? I'm not interested in who Mr. Pool is. This matters because how the hell has this account, this entity, this whoever they are, been years in advance warning us of the simulations that we're now going through? Remember what they said back in 2020? That 2020 was a test, one of many, and the simulations will continue. And now we have this huge scare, this huge World War III events, Armageddon's being thrown around, all these crazy all massive distractions for no matter what happens, what scenarios play out, 100% financial sacrifice of the middle class and poor of this country. And this is how they are able to get out their agenda and completely succeed in their mission is by wiping out the middle class of America that is independent. The middle class and poor that don't take the government handout. The working class that just figures it out, gets it done and shows up every single day. I wanted to make a point here that for us, we have no fear, complete faith with massive action. Let me reread that. No fear through all of this that the mainstream media has us listening. We're listening to Zelensky act like a tough guy, little five foot nothing Zelensky over there. Everyone has to support Ukraine. Sleepy, creepy Joe. What is he doing? Massive distractions. It's a joke at best and it's absolutely sick at worst when you really go on how deep, you know, what's been really been happening. But at best, it's a joke. It's an absolute joke, mockery of the American people. But we have no fear. We're not falling for the distractions. We have complete faith and we're taking massive action during this time right now. And this is why this is so important. This is why you guys are listening to this channel.